The Taoiseach and I extend 100,000 welcomes to you, every one of you, whether you're Irish or whether you wish you were Irish. <laughs> we're very glad you're all here. Look, St. Patrick's Day is about friendship. And we're many friends here today because St. Patrick is a moment that uh, great unity in Washington. Whether you're from the red state or a blue state, on this day, you're Irish green. And this year, Ireland and the United States mark a milestone. 100 years diplomatic relations between our countries. 100 years. We celebrate the bonds of our friendship today, connecting millions of Irish Americans and the American people. We celebrate the friendship between two great nations, one that has shaped our past and strengthened our present and inspires our future. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. President Biden, one of your country's most sacred promises is to defend the principles of democracy and freedom against tyranny and oppression. And when Ukraine was invaded, you honored that promise and stood firm against an adversary who tore up the rule book of international law and repudiated our sacred humanity. Israel must reverse its precipitous decision to authorize a land incursion into Rafa. And after 100 years of violence, as you said, the only secure future lies in two states, peaceful and sovereign, side by side. We also see Israel's history reflected in our eyes, a diaspora whose heart never left home, no matter how many generations passed, a nation state that was reborn and a language revived. I believe it's possible to be for Israel and for Palestine, and I believe you do too.